Today in this video, we are going to learn how main distribution board wiring is done by using voltage protection relay and RCBO. So friends, let's start the video. If you don't know what is RCBO, then let me tell you, RCBO is a type of circuit breaker which gives overcurrent, short circuit and earth fault protection. You can say that protection provided by MCB and the protection by RCCB, when you combine these, then it can be called as RCBO. In this distribution board, I am using a voltage protection relay so that I will get protection from over voltage, under voltage and over current. This MCB also provides protection from over current but in this relay, we can set the amount of current. As you know, rating of MCB is fixed, we cannot change it but in this relay, we can set the current as per requirement. Now let us learn the wiring of this distribution board. What you have to do first is bring the power supply from the energy meter and provide input power supply to voltage protection relay. The input power supply is to be connected to two terminals at upper side. The power supply connected to input terminal of relay, we receive output from these two terminals. At output terminals of relay, here L is written and N is written here. We get phase supply at this terminal and neutral supply at this terminal. What I gonna do is, at the neutral point of this relay, connect one end of a wire. The other end of a wire is to be connected with RCBO. If you look at terminal of RCBO, as you can see N is written here. Provide neutral power supply here. So I am connecting wire here. Connect a wire at phase terminal of this relay. Take another end of the wire and connect to phase terminal of RCBO. At the output power supply from this RCBO of phase supply, connect one end of a wire. I connected wire here. The other end of the wire is to be connected at these single pole MCB which are used for supply at different rooms or different power supply. We need to provide input power supply to these. So I am providing input power supply to any one among these. For now, I am connecting wire to this first MCB. We also have to provide input power supply to these remaining MCBs. I am using loop of wire to provide input power supply to these MCBs. At the neutral terminal of RCBO, connect one end of another wire. We get neutral power supply here, so I connected a black wire. Take other end of wire and look at the bus bar. You can see two bus bar are provided here. So connect wire with any one of these. For now, I am using this bus bar. So I am connecting neutral supply wire to this point. In this second bus bar, you have to connect earthing wire. So bring the earthing wire of your home and connect with this bus bar. I connected wire here. Power supply from this single pole MCB will be supplied to rooms. Suppose you use first MCB for a room, second MCB for second room and third MCB is used for kitchen. The phase supply of first room should be from output terminal of this MCB and neutral supply for first room should be supplied from this bus bar. Earthing will be supplied from this bus bar. How power is supplied further to rooms will be explained through this lamp. The phase wire of this lamp is to be connected with output terminal of this MCB. To provide neutral supply to lamp, this wire is used. So I am directly connecting this wire with bus bar. I am switching on the power supply. When supply is on, display of relay also turned on. I am zooming in to explain you something more. As you can see, voltage is showing here and running current is showing here. Right now, no load is connected, so zero ampere current is showing. You can see power indication is also glowing. If you want to do programming in this relay, simply press this M button. You can see U0 is showing, means over voltage. Over voltage is 270 here. So set this according to your need. For now, I am setting this as 240 volt for over voltage. On again pressing M button, under voltage is displaying. Under voltage is 170 right now. I am setting this to 180 volts. On again pressing M, time delay for over voltage and under voltage is displayed. Now 2 seconds is programmed, I am changing this to 4 seconds. On again pressing M button, over current can be programmed. 63 ampere is already programmed, for now I am setting this to 5 ampere. On again pressing M button, this time delay for over current can be programmed. This means after how much time this relay turns off power supply when over current reaches. 2 seconds is already set. I am not changing this. On again pressing M button, reset time is displayed. This means after how much time 
this relay gets reset when fault occurs. Right now, 3 seconds is programmed. I am changing this to 5 seconds. Only this much programming is required. I am turning on this RCBO. Now these MCBs must be turned on. For now, I only use this MCB for lamp. So this has to be turned on. If in your homes, overcurrent, short circuit or earth fault occurs, then this RCBO will provide us the protection. Means this RCBO will automatically trip. As you can see, it got tripped. If you try to reset this, then it will not get reset. To reset, you have to press this blue button. After pressing button, resetting is possible. If voltage coming in your home is somehow increased or may decreased, then this relay will provide voltage protection in your home. We just saw this relay stopped generating output command. That's why lamp turned off. If power supply get back to normal, then in that condition, this relay will automatically get reset means it will start generating output power supply. You can see lamp is turned on. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment on my video. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.